Okay, so uh, hi everyone, I'm Aid from uh, GNS Oakmere. Uh, last year I decided to, um, well, I wanted to have a go at track, um, you know, track days basically, not racing, because um, I'm, uh, you know, I'm just not good enough for anything like that, but I don't ride sports bikes on the road. Um, I've never ridden a sports bike actually, but with Alton Park being so close to us, I thought, yeah, do you know what? That's something I want to experience. Um, so in December, uh, I was fortunate enough to stumble across a, a ZX9R that came in part exchange. That was a, a tired old thing, needed a lot doing to it. Um, so I, I bought it and uh, stripped it down to nothing and uh, and rebuilt it as a, a track bike. Uh, I think Alex is doing a blog on it actually. So if you go to Alex's blog on the website, uh, you'll be able to, to see how I got on with that. Um, but this basically, the video you're watching is is um, a track day at Alton Park um, that I uh, put myself on, me and a friend, um, to, to basically test the bike. Um, it's not a road bike anymore, it's not road registered, so the only way that I'm going to be able to see if I've got everything right is to take it on a track day. Um, so this is what we did, we booked on Alton Park, and uh, yes, I did have some teething problems. Um, the first one being that I couldn't rev the bike uh, fully uh, because it would uh, judder. Um, anyway, um, we tracked that down to the baffle in the exhaust. It's got a little short exhaust on it um, and the baffle was choking the bike up too much. Uh, so you'll notice I'm short shifting quite a lot uh, and not really revving it out because it wouldn't rev out. Uh, but as I say, at the end of the day, we got over this problem. We found out it was the baffle that was choking the bike up, so we removed the baffle, and from that point on, it was absolutely superb. Okay, one of the, I did get instruction. I paid for some tuition um, just to basically try and get off on the right foot. As I say, this is all new to me. This is all alien to me. I'm not a fast rider at all. I just want to experience a track day. Um, so I had some tutoring and what the tutor did do is he recorded us and then he played the video back to us and he showed us where we could improve, what we weren't doing, what we were doing wrong, that sort of thing. Uh, and it dawned on me that it's such a good idea to have a camera on your bike and record you on the bike um, so that you can see yourself how to improve. Because it's all very well going around the track thinking, oh yeah, I'm doing really well. And then you look at the video and think, oh my God, you know, <laughs> this is terrible. So uh, that's what we did. Um, so I've got the, as I say, I've got this, this video of, of me going around. And yeah, all right, I'm going around at a snail's pace. But give me a break. You know, I'm a beginner. And everyone's got to start somewhere. Um, the other problem that I had on the first day was the quick shifter. Um, it's a heel tech quick shifter, which we sell at the stores. Um, and you program them yourself on your phone. And what I had, I set it all up and programmed it, and they're very good. They've even got a wizard, um, a setup wizard. What I hadn't realised was I've changed my phone. I went on the track date. There's no data, so the quick shifter was playing up a little bit. It was I was missing gears. I was thinking, what the hell's going on? Again, we rectified this. Uh, downloaded the app onto my new phone, set it up, and from that point on, it's absolutely brilliant. So. Um, Great job on the heel, sh the heel tech uh, quick shifter there. Uh, but this camera angle, uh, again, I wasn't leaning off the bike enough. Um, and you think, Christ, you know, give us a break. It's first time on the bike, but you know, you've, you've got to try and do it as, as quickly and as early as possible so you don't pick up any bad habits. So this is um, another camera angle that aided me a little bit on me shifting around on the bike. Uh, the next camera angle you're going to see is at the rear of the bike, which you'll see, here it is now actually, uh, which you'll see if I'm shifting my bum over enough, you know, and leaning the bike over and shifting my bum over enough, which again I was told to do. Um, and I don't do it, in all fairness. Uh, I, I think I'm doing it, but this tells me that I'm not. Um, so that is, again, the importance of having a camera on your bike if you want to improve and you want to get better. Um, so yeah, this is the uh, this is the angle of the of the rear cam. Okay, okay so um, I was just saying about this camera angle. Uh, it's a great angle, so you can see uh, if you are hanging off the bike. And like I said, I was obviously not, even though I thought I was doing all right. Uh, the other thing that plagued us on the day, and as I say, because it's a track bike and I can't test it, I can't go up the road on it. You know, it's not legal. This is the only time I can give it, you know, give it a, a test if you like, is um, on the track. And the other thing I was plagued with when I got rid of the baffle and it was able to rev out, uh, I was plagued with a slipping clutch. When the revs got high, 
uh, sort of over sort of 9,000 uh, into sort of peak power if you like. Um, the clutch was slipping. Again, something that couldn't be foreseen. Um, so you will hear the clutch um, slip and the engine revs really scream out. Um, and it's just another thing that hinders us on the, on the, on the day. But, you know, listen, it's all a big learning curve. And um, if any of you out there are interested in doing a track day, um, by all means, you know, send us messages or come into the store. And uh, there's a few guys that are actually in the store that are absolute experts at track days. Um, Chris, uh, Phil, they do them all, all the time. Chris has been all over the blooming world doing track days. He's in the fast group. He's a very, very quick rider. So feel free to pop in and have a chat. If you want to get into it, you can have a chat with me. And, you know, it's, it's real good fun. It's a real good atmosphere. Uh, everyone really enjoys themselves. Um, but as I say, this first sort of session and first day uh, is a massive, massive learning curve. And it, and it helped me a lot with the setup of the bike, uh, what I needed to do and, um, you know, how I needed to do it. And I really would have been lost if it wasn't for the cameras on on the bike and obviously you know we've got all the cameras in the stores and we can tell you how they uh, fit and how they work and all the rest of it and uh, i think it's a great aid in helping you improve your riding uh, and it's something that was brought to my attention as i say by the instructor okay i'll say this this next camera angle it was just for my benefit really just for for, for me to see the guys in front and if it was you know gaining on them and or they were losing me or whatever it was just a bit for a bit of fun um but so we keep this next section very short uh, but as i said before uh, the, the knowledge that the camera will give you is fantastic and on the next video we're going to put on uh, is the next track day i did um and i got the clutch sorted um we put a brand new clutch in it so that isn't slipping anymore the quick shifters set up really really well i did change the sprockets i went down another tooth on the front sprocket um, and that worked to perfection uh, and you'll see all this on the next video um, and I've improved the riding as well down to the cameras so uh, look out for the next video and uh, we'll keep you posted on my track day adventures